start indeed for Josh Mason, but also a great start for Ayrton Simmons. Certainly graced his presence here in race two. Mason managed to get up into second place ahead of that of the 78 car belonging to Freddie Lubin. They went round turn one. Simmons led. Mansell went out wide. Didn't have the best of starts, but they went three wide as well. Near enough earlier on with Simonazzi trying to get into the fray as Goethe then looked to challenge, making his way up towards turn three. Once again, they dueled. This time it was Josh Mason, Ayrton Simmons getting really up close and personal on the outside of Schloss Gold out of turn four. Ayrton Simmons would venture into the turf as now we're seeing Mason once again, this time at turn three, losing out to Vladislav Lomko, who would then go on to lead the way. Mansell was right in the thick of it, though. He had Simonazzi breathing down his neck. A great performance from the Italian, but Mansell dazzled us with certainly some immense dive bombs and great execution of overtakes heading through turn three. Of course, this one surprising Simmons, who rejoined the circuit with Simonazzi alongside him. Simonazzi, once again, as I said earlier, a great display. Mansell would then again go again at turn three. This would push out uh, his co-compatriot out wide as well, allowing Simonazzi to go ahead of the pair of them. Lubin dropping back. And this was the moment, of course, when again Lubin came together with Christian Mansell, opening the door for the great day. Noddy Goethe, these three would continue to duel throughout the race. Goethe and Mansell, the two championship contenders, coming through the Russian birth curves, allowed Mansell to perform such a great overtake. But it would be Vladislav Lomko who would take the chequered flag and victory for his team.